Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Friday, the 12th of August 2022. So stocks form bullers, bulls fail to hold critical 50% uh, retracement level. And uh, stocks and bonds dip after soft PPI as longs take profits. And US stocks finished mixed with early gains from softer PPI faded as yields climbed. So yesterday we had the PPI numbers and they were a lot softer. We'll just go back and uh, have a look at uh, that uh, somewhere around here. Uh, back up one would help, wouldn't it? Looking at next week there. Uh, Thursday, PPI numbers uh, they came out uh, slightly softer, minus 0 0.5 as opposed to 0 0.2. And today, what have we got? Um, we're in the UK today for uh, GDP numbers. They're out at uh, 7 a.m. They're forecast at minus 1.2 from uh, 0 0.5 the previous month and prelim GDP as well. Also a negative forecast there. Prelim UOM consumer sentiment uh, is uh, showing an increase or forecasting an increase for the US. We'll see what happens there. But certainly, yes, the markets have moved uh, significantly and uh, it looks like we're time for a bit of a profit taking or pullback uh, phase. Just before doing that, let's just have a look at the gold uh, silver ratio. And there uh, you can see uh, just sideways uh, at the moment uh, for this. So not a lot happening there. So in the stock market, let's have a look at uh, the Dow and you can see yesterday moving higher towards the uh, 200 MA in the daily chart there was certainly overbought due for a correction. Uh, whether we get one or not is another thing, um, but they are the downside targets for the Dow daily should the market move lower. Keep in mind that the 5 MA is also at uh, the 50% retracement there. Let's just have a look at this on a weekly chart so we can get more of an idea of where we are in the bigger picture. We've got the all time high uh, up here and you can see that we've moved up uh, quite uh, markedly over the last few weeks. Let's just have a quick look. So up to the end of yesterday, we're 3,321 points higher than we were uh, following the last down move. So from, what's the date there? From the 17th of June, the beginning of June, uh, sorry, mid-June, uh, we've seen the market move up 3,300 points there and uh, obviously it needs to have a bit of a breather. Uh, so we'll just draw that in there. You can see 33,003459. Mm -hmm. However, we are above the 5, 20 and 50 MA as well. So it's still very strong on the upside there. Whether it's a dead cat bounce and uh, another bear rally, who knows? Uh, only time will tell. But I can tell you this, you try shorting it at the moment. It's uh, very difficult to hold a short position on any time frame apart from uh, one minute where you can just grab uh, a few quid and uh, then get uh, back to the long side because that's how it's been playing out. But of course, uh, that will shift if we do get into a uh, retracement uh, phase. So, But it's one way of actually being able to test that, like I say, is uh, when you get a potential short setup, they don't uh, seem to last. In the DAX, uh, we also uh, the market are still above the five bar moving average, despite the fact that there was some absorption of selling coming into the market yesterday, 62% retracement here. And again, but one thing I will say about the DAX, it's stuck in a sideways range at the moment. So it needs uh, another boost to move to the upside. There's no news today for that, unless there's something of a geopolitical nature, no economic data to move the stock market to the upside. Like I say, we are due for a correction, whether it's just a couple of days like this or just a single day, we are due for a bit of a pullback there, it's getting ahead of itself. Even if it is the same, you know, the retracement in the bull market, or even if it's a bear uh, rally that's uh, taking place at the moment. 30 minute chart uh, for yesterday, you can see that uh, bit of weakness to begin with, then they soon brought the market back and then followed the Dow down later in the session, but uh, coming back before the close. And again, that's why you end up with this situation. If I can just find the daily chart again, where you uh, come off the lows there, staying above the five bar moving average. So a bit of weakness around uh, yesterday. See if that uh, weakness continues today, certainly below the DP at the moment. Uh, the low will be crucial if the market uh, moves lower. 
and uh, yesterday of course uh, was trying to stay above the high but failed uh, miserably you can see when it came back to it it just uh, continued to the downside there five bar or oh, sorry five minute chart uh, we can see we had a bit of a rally in the futures market as soon as the cash opened we traded down to the 200 ma again trying to keep prices uh, above uh, the high of Wednesday market bounced up from this but as soon as it hit the averages here and then we turned back to red in the parabolic and down we came the market stayed in a range then for the morning managed to get back above the high once more you can see how they targeted it but as soon as the Dow opened it was then under pressure once more with the market being oversold with divergence closing back below the five bar moving average and then uh, making its way back below the high however again you can see how they try to bring the market back above the high it's crucial when you look at the daily charts it's so important just to have a look at the rising lows and also where the previous day's highs as well because if you've got a, a bull market you want to see prices taking out the previous day's highs and holding up against the previous day's lows to try and bring the market back this is why these areas are highlighted in uh, the omni charts so that you can actually see where the markets are likely to find support or resistance uh, so the market moving down to the dp which uh, you can see there overnight markets gapped up but filled the gap as you can see there gap has been filled and uh, we had a bit of a spike up to the 200 ma there which is a resistance line and at yesterday's close one thing i've noticed in the last few weeks that the close has become important for the markets as well uh, prices bouncing off this but stuck at that 200 ma uh, in the five minute chart at the moment uh, the dp also an area of resistance on the upside for this market as well but uh, more importantly this down here the low is going to be crucial so if you get any weakness and we get through the close we get through the brn watch this area here the market tends to find some support if it does that come back to the daily chart have a look and you'll find that we've got the far five bar moving average there and in the 30 minute chart you'll see that uh, the 200 ma is also there as well so a very important area for the dax if prices drop down to this level and in the S&P, very similar to what's going on in the Dow, market failing to hold on at yesterday's highs. In the 30 minute chart, you can see we had a pre-market move to the upside and then uh, it was downhill for the S&P down to the previous day's close where the market was oversold. It's been in a sideways range since, needs to close above the DP in order to move higher. Whether they can do this on the GDP news from the UK, who knows? We'll have to see what the figures are at 7 a.m. In uh, the FTSE, also showing some weakness there at the 78% retracement, so closing below the five bar moving average, but it's done that before and then managed to move back to the upside. Uh, at the moment, holding on the overnight, nice trend to the upside, continues to move higher. Um, intraday yesterday 30 minute chart all the way down uh, until we got to here before we saw the first green bar at uh, 4 30 when uh, the uk market closes and the dax closes cat whilst the cash market closes and then we had a bit of a retracement another gap up overnight the gap's been filled and the market is uh, sitting around the close at the moment needs to get above the dp 50 and the 200 ma if it is to move uh, higher Again, watch uh, yesterday's uh, low, very important there if that's broken. Then switch to the daily chart and uh, use the uh, Fib retracements to uh, give you some targets on the downside there. 50 all the way through to 89 if there is a bit of a sell-off. And in the currencies, the yen uh, down yesterday, but then bouncing back. Uh, stuck in a bit of a sideways range, but uh, bullish overnight at the moment. You will see that uh, there's your, your down move uh, down to the S1. See again, you've got the low yesterday of uh, Wednesday. You see them coming back in and buying the market, desperate to get it back above the previous day's low, which they do. And then the market uh, manages to move to the upside and then sitting above yesterday's high at the moment. Again, that's going to be dependent on the news from uh, the UK on uh, the GDP numbers and you can see already that uh, 
the pound is sitting on the 50 bar moving average awaiting this news which is out in 25 minutes uh, 30 minute chart there a bit choppy yesterday market up in a very narrow range it's only about 50 points uh, back up to a just over a double top there back to the brn and uh, the high of uh, 122.50 market uh, then selling off uh, what time was this? Uh, four o'clock. So something in the US coming out there to support the dollar, sending the uh, the pound lower. Uh, the market's already come off yesterday's low, which uh, you can see there. A lot of volume. That's what they do. It's oversold and trying to get back above that DP. But this market waiting for those uh, GDP numbers at 7 a.m. And finally, in silver, as I said yesterday, they're going to try and start moving this to the downside. Uh, price is moving up uh, there overnight. You can see trying to bounce back. Uh, it should be a lot higher. We know this. And also uh, yesterday, uh, three of the traders uh, that were on trial for spoofing the silver and manipulating the silver and gold markets were convicted uh, during uh, the recent uh, trial. And in the 30 minute chart, you can see the 1 p.m. sell off. I wish I could find a, a spread betting company that had a really narrow spread on this market because uh, it's more or less guaranteed every day isn't it it's just incredible overnight again the low playing and fundamental parts in the supporting of the silver price at the moment this moving back up to the dp uh, coming off uh, yesterday's uh, low which is really important there as is the high which we've already mentioned gold also went uh, down during yesterday on the ppi numbers uh, you'll see there the release of these numbers then uh, markets being marked down got an 89 percent retracement down to here oversold and then overnight as well we've got another retracement with the uh, gold prices moving to the upside keeping things strong there moving more than the uh, silver price which uh, is not quite got above the uh, dp whereas uh, the gold price uh, has there and then uh, dollar demand for yesterday trying to hold stuck at 89 and below the 50 EMA as well adding a bit more weakness and potential um, pressure to the downside there for this market and finally Brent uh, up again uh, during uh, yesterday which is uh, interesting uh, just trading to the 20 bar moving average as well there so crude oil starting to move back up once more Okay, that's it uh, for this one. See what the GDP numbers are from the UK, along with all of the rest of the uh, inflammatory and histrionics that's uh, making the news at the moment, keeping people in fear. Uh, I'm sure they'll ham it up if it uh, comes out at the minus 1.2 month on month. Okay, that's it uh, for this one. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the sunshine, and I will see you in Monday's edition. And uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.